hello everyone uh, we are uh, at again going to see one more topic in unit 5 that is assisted reproductive technology uh, in that in vitro fertilization and test tube baby now uh, before going to the topic let's see the learning objective to understand the available assisted reproductive technology and to learn the procedure of in vitro fertilization by the end of the class you will be understanding the basics of art, understanding the procedure involved in in vitro fertilization. First, let's see what is this uh, assisted reproductive technology and why it is used. And uh, to understand that, we must be very familiar about a topic, a thing called as or a, a, a concept called as infertility. Now, what is this infertility? Infertility is the inability of a person to reproduce by natural methods. See, there are two terms actually. One is infertility, the other one is uh, sterility. Uh, infertility refers to uh, a condition where the couple are unable to reproduce or to have the child uh, by natural methods. That means if some assistance is given, some kind of treatment is given, then they will be able to have the baby. Whereas sterility is a permanent disability where even with assistance, even with certain techniques, the individual will not be able to have the children or child. Okay. Now, uh, the infertility that is the inability to reproduce by natural method in case of a female there are different causes and they can be grouped as congenital abnormalities or anomalies, acquired factors, urinogenital infections, immunologic factors, tubal damage, tubal damage refers to fallopian tube, ovulatory failure, okay. Endom endometriosis, a condition where the uh, tissues grow, uterine tissue grow in a region like uh, tubes, fallopian tubes. Uh, and then anomalies of the uterus, uterus might be very small, okay. So, and endocrine uh, disturbances like uh, hormonal um, imbalances. And there is also an unexplained uh, reason or a cause for uh, infertility. Uh, none of the techniques that are available to trace the infertility uh, will show any cause for infertility but still there will be infertility in individuals. Such cases are called as unexplained causes. Similarly in male also there are such 8% of uh, other causes. Unexplained causes almost count to 34%. Then undescended testicle, testicle descends into the scrotum, but uh, it does not happen in some cases. Urinogenital infections might be reasons. I mean, then uh, sexual factors might be the reason, which counts for almost 6 percent. Then systematic, uh, systemic diseases almost 3 percent, uh, varicocele 17 percent, then uh, hypogonadism 10 percent, and um, Immune system factors 5% where antibodies are produced that might kill the spermatozoans. So uh, on an average in case of uh, both ma male and female, the infertility, uh, infertility in couple might be nearly 33% of it is infertility in case of female alone and 20% male alone and 39% cases both male and female infertility and uh, around 8% is unexplained uh, reasons. Now, assisted reproductive techni uh, technology, uh, which is also known as ART, is a treatment for infertility. Okay, so if the treatment can be given with a modern technique, then it is called as ART. And um, what does ART refer to? It refers to the treatment and any procedure that aim to um, achieve pregnancy. Okay, and it can be defined as the set of techniques and procedures that replace the natural process of conception. So when couple are unable to naturally reproduce or naturally conceive, okay, in that case certain techniques and procedures can be given or assisted to those couples which will help them to conceive or to have babies. So these techniques and procedures will be replacing the natural methods. And some examples for these art are IVF, GIFT, PROST, TET and ZIFT. Uh, we will be discussing on IVF, G, uh, uh, GIFT and ZIFT. 
and coming to in vitro fertilization louis brown who was born in england in 1978 was the first baby to be conceived in in this particular technique outside the uh, mother's womb this ivf is a type of assisted reproductive technology used for infertility treatment and gestational surrogacy surrogacy refers to a condition where after the fertilization Uh, the baby will not grow in the actual mother's womb instead it will be implanted in some uh, 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 someone else uterus who will be carrying the child for uh, these couples so that is called as surrogacy okay and what does this infertilization uh, in vitro fertilization refer to it is a process of fertilization okay it's a fertilization in vitro fertilization so it's a process of fertilization where an egg is combined with the spermatozoa outside the uh, body that is in vitro in vitro here refers to a glass petri dish a petri dish okay so in vitro and in vivo are two conditions in vivo is a condition where fertilization takes place inside the body okay in vivo in vivo fertilization in vitro fertilization where the fertilization takes place outside the body in the petri dishes in glass dishes okay so that's why it is called as in vitro fertilization now in vitro fertilization in common terms non medical terms it is also called as test tube baby remember test tube baby doesn't mean the baby is grown in a test tube okay baby cannot be grown in a test tube so here it refers to only the fertilization that is taking place in a test tube or in a petri dish just because of fertilization takes place in the petri dish or in the test tube the technique is also known as test tube baby technique but uh, in a medical term it is in vitro fertilization or ivf now let's see who can opt for ivf uh, in case a woman is having endometriosis in case uh, the man is having low sperm count oligospermia it is called or problems with the uterus or fallopian tubes okay blockage or damage problems with the ovulation if the cycles are not regular antibody problems that harm the sperm or the egg sometimes uh, a female body produces antibodies that might kill the spermatozoa so immunological conditions inability of the sperm to penetrate or to survive in the cervical mucus sometimes the spermatozoans will not be having the proper tail or double head those conditions have happen or they are unable to uh, survive in the mucus again because of the certain physiological and biochemical conditions of the cervical mucus and sometimes poor egg quality uh, uh, in rare cases even genetic disease disease of mother and father might be the reason i mean where a uh, partner can go for ivf and certain cases as i said in a earlier slide uh, unexplained infertility conditions fertility problems now what are the steps involved in ivf or in test tube baby here uh, women will be uh, induced to produce ova uh, in case if the ovulatory problem is there then the monitoring is done Uh, if the problem is is with the fallopian tube and all then she might be having a normal uh, uh, menstrual cycle even then she will be subjected to hormonal treatment okay for that mon close monitoring of her menstrual cycle must be done for few months and once a proper chart is obtained then she will be given fsh and lh in different dosages so that follicle will start maturing okay and lh you know it is a ovulatory hormone and usually uh, when the maturation is taking place she will also be induced with human chorionic gonadotropin this hormonal induction is given to uh, increase the number of matured follicles so one follicle induction won't be enough because there are chances of failure so in this technique they need more than one egg at a time so to produce multiple eggs at a time or to release multiple eggs at a time hormonal induction is given okay so what they do here they will induce the women with fsh lh and human chorionic gonadotropin so you remember in one of the classes we have discussed 20 if in a 28 day cycle 14th day will be the ovulatory day so just before that the second step these eggs will be retrieved and this retrieving the egg will be done by uh, ultrasound guided procedure under very light anesthetic 
once the egg is retrieved spermatozoan will be collected from the male or the donor male partner or the donor then both these eggs and spermatozoans will be released to a petri dish in a culture media where they will be allowed to undergo fertilization okay and this will be left there for next 3 to 5 days simultaneously the woman will also be induced uh, with the progesterone so that her okay um, endometrium gets ready for future implantations now uh, fertilization takes place in the petri dish and the blastocyst or the embryo will be formed now what they do at a time since uh, by because of induction multiple ova has been taken so multiple fertile i mean uh, blastocyst will be formed most of the times more than one blastocyst will be collected and it will be released into the uterine cavity so that the implantation is confirmed there is a chance that the single blastocyst that is released might get destroyed so to confirm more than one blastocyst will be released to the uh, uterine cavity if there are few more additional blastocyst then they will be frozen frozen in the sense they will be kept in a very low uh, temperature so that if the first attempt to implant fails these can be used used as a substitute okay so that's how it is done now you can see the chart here first step is hormonal stimulation second is uh, egg retrieval and next is allowing the embryo development and the next is embryo transfer so that's why this is also called as ivf et in vitro fertilization embryo transfer technique is the actual complete name of this particular technique so embryo will be transferred either to the uterus of the same uh, woman from whom egg has been retrieved or if she is if, if her uterus is small and cannot bear the child then this fertilized uh, or blastocyst will be implanted in another woman's uterus who will be acting as a surrogate mother she will be carrying the child throughout its development in her womb and after the birth of the baby this will be given to the uh, original mother who has donated her egg okay and once the implantation has taken place rest of the things are similar to any natural pregnancy she will be completely con continuously monitored for the development of the baby okay next thing uh, is that uh, about the abortions it is very common that even in natural pregnancies abortions takes place so here too there are chances of uh, 15 to sorry 5 to 15 percent of chances of abortions are there so close monitoring is always necessary okay and uh, you uh, once the complete uh, after the end of gestation period um, during birth it might be a natural birth or it might be due to caesarean also caesarean technique too can be used and one of the is i mean a very common thing about ivf is that um, there will be uh, there will be multiple births okay so this is the technique what you can see in on so you can see on the screen collection of uh, egg the release of uh, spermatozoan and egg in the petri dish their fertilization two cell four cell eight cell stage and then the, in this stage it will be transferred uh, transferred to the uterine cavity there where it is allowed to undergo implant embryo transfer technique okay so that's about the ivf uh, ivf et uh, there are certain disadvantages one of them is a multiple birth second one is a, 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 a woman might suffer from hyper ovulatory syndrome where um, uh, number of ova released are many large number of ova will be released and uh, because of during retrieval of the eggs if it is not done properly then there might be certain small damages to uh, other parts of the body too and in case of hyper ovulatory syndrome she might suffer from certain uh, i mean mild, mild abdominal pain if the conception takes place then this might be severe for uh, i mean the duration might be longer so th there are the certain disadvantages so in this topic we have seen infertility that is the inability of the person to reproduce the na by natural method art refers to the treatment and procedure that aim to achieve pregnancy and in vitro, in, vitro, in vitro fertilization is a process of fertilization where an egg is combined with the sperm outside the body in vitro that means in a glass jar these are the references for my uh, today's class thank you